Come off watching the net or Skyping their family in the UK, say, order their lunch on screen, and then it'll be delivered by a robotic vehicle from the kitchen. It's like something out of space age cartoon, The Jetsons. What would you like for breakfast? The usual. The usual coming up. Milk, cereal. And some bacon. Bacon. And one soft boiled egg. And one soft boiled egg. Thanks, Mum. But this is reality at Perth's new Fiona Stanley Hospital. Robots serving food towards outdoor hospital beds, electric glass windows. This is some of the most expensive and advanced hospital technology in the world and the reason the government says why the opening of the hospital has been delayed. This will be not a paperless hospital but very little paper. A lot of it will be computer program run uh, and all that had to be designed and built and coordinated uh, and then people have to be trained to use it. Tonight we'll take you on an exclusive tour of the two billion dollar Fiona Stanley Hospital in Murdoch. First up, Emergency Department Head, Dr Mark Monaghan. So Mark, here we are at the Emergency Department. Yeah, so you can see that we've got um, an adult and children's entrance, a separate one, which is very important to our design um, and very important for families coming to the Emergency Department. This is the entrance for patients to, uh, to come in via private transport and we have um, an ambulance entrance behind us here that come in there and then can enter through our triage area just there. Uh, you can also see above us there that we've got our helipad, so that's very close to the emergency department and we'll have teams that go up and receive patients from there and bring them back down. OK, well let's go and have a look inside. Good. So this is where we'll end up. And we're coming now into one of our resus trauma bays. Um, they're huge bays, they're filled with state-of-the-art equipment. Um, equipment that we certainly haven't been able to use previously in our resuscitation areas. This pendant that you see there, for example, is a mobile device that has gas coming off it, it has equipment stored in it, um, it's easily moved and it allows us free access to the patient in all areas. We don't have to be attached to the back of the wall like we have previously. There's also mobile x-ray machines and lead-lined walls in the emergency department so patients don't have to be moved. This is the decontamination shower outside the emergency department. The idea is an ambulance would pull up and any patients involved in a bomb explosion, a chemical spill or any other accident involving hazardous material would come here, be showered before being taken inside for treatment. Upstairs, the world's first indoor-outdoor intensive care unit where critically ill patients can be wheeled outside for fresh air and sunshine, still hooked up to life-saving machines. One of the key issues in the technology for this hospital is to improve the experience for the patients and the ability to take somebody outdoors. And some of our ICU patients may be in the hospital for up to 90 to 100 days with some conditions is a really big advantage. Actually helps people to be orientated. We know that confusional states and delirium are common in intensive care. This does add to our ability to improve the experience of patients, and particularly those who are in for long periods of time. Intensive care chief Dr Simon Towler says everything has been thought of. Curtains have a risk in terms of infection. This system, which we'll demonstrate, allows you to see through the glass when you wish to, particularly when there's a nurse looking after two adjacent patients, or otherwise make the glass opaque, which protects privacy. But with all this technology comes problems. It's been a massive challenge. This is a $2 billion hospital like teaching staff to use the whiz-bang machines and making sure it works. These tech issues have cost taxpayers an extra $56 million. Please step aside. So we know that it won't run anyone over in the it's wards. It's not going to run me down. We're absolutely confident we're going to deliver a safer environment for patients with this technology. The Fiona Stanley Hospital was due to open next month. Now it won't be fully operational until early next year. The first component though will be the rehabilitation unit. Two months later comes the next phase when some surgery and medical facilities start here. Early the following year is the emergency department and finally what we call the quaternary services, the very high end things like heart transplants. The foyer is full of functional art using wood from trees that were cut down to make way for the hospital. The outdoor area is fully landscaped. All that's missing now are the patients. Thank you.